Hello everyone, welcome to Titan Web Tutorials. In this video, we will dive into the push actions find in the Salesforce integration. All right, so this is our demo project here. And um, on the homepage, we have a form that creates a lead. Okay, and we have everything mapped, everything is set up. And now let's uh, jump into the Salesforce integration to that lead push. So for that form, we have a push. And right now the action is update. I'm gonna switch it back to create. And what we wanna view here is to find action. So let's just view it from here and then I'll revert back to create and we'll, we'll simulate something here. So what the find does is basically allows you to, to, to search, to query for an object usually for later usage. So let's say in our scenario, what we will do is we will create a lead. Once that lead is created, we will take that email that the lead was created with, search an account. And then once, if we find the account, we're gonna get all the contacts that are under that account and we will update something in them. And this is just a, made up scenario, I'm sure in the real world, uh, you wouldn't need to do something exactly the same, but uh, it's just, it will demonstrate the capabilities of the find. All right, so uh, within the find, we see that we have here, if, if there are multiple matches, what do you wanna do? So you can take just the first one, you can take the last one, you can gather all of them, and we will demonstrate the all in just a second. And you can skip and, um, if you skip them, basically it will do nothing. And if there is no match, you can decide what you want. If you want to skip, then just you didn't find, then just don't do anything. Or if you didn't find, then you can create it and then move on. So you can create it and then you will have the mapping here, etc. And it will just be created. All right. Uh, so let's remove, let's revert this back to the create. And so this push, the only thing it will do is create the lead. Now we'll add a child to demonstrate the find. So let's say we want to find an account and the action will be find. Let's give it a description. Using the lead email. All right, and what we want to do here is we want to return the first record. And if we didn't find it, let's just skip. We don't want to create a new account. So if you would want to create a new account, if you didn't find or any other object you can imagine, then you can just create it and move to the next step. So in my conditioning, I'll head over here. And again, this could be multiple conditioning with ands and ors and you name it. In our instance, I'm just gonna keep it simple and say the email field on the account, this is a custom field on, on my Salesforce organization. I'll say equals my, we can do lead number one. Let's just take the, form field, email, and there is no mapping, nothing else. It's just gonna find the, the account. So what we have here is a find, return the first record you find with that email. So return the first account you find with that email. If you didn't find anything, don't do anything. This is just our find. And what we will do here is we will add another object and we will say, I want to update all the contacts that under that, that account, I want to update them with something. So we, we will choose all in our condition. We will say account ID equals, and here you can select if you want to go to a field or you want to go to uh, your previous query. So we're going to say account number one. This is our find query account ID. So if you found it, it will move on to the next child. If it didn't find, then it will do nothing. So here I'm just going to update a simple field I have, I think just to 
text field uh, with the smart V's, just uh, I think five, six, eight characters in there. And we're just going to do other in this instance just to demonstrate, and we'll do 77077. And we'll hit apply. So, what will happen now if I will push um, a lead with an existing email account um, that has contacts and un contacts underneath that account will find all these uh, contacts and will update them uh, the smart v custom field with uh, 7707 all right so uh, let's close this and let's publish and let's see how this does so let's see what i have here um, let's go to my accounts and let's find one to test. So let's take Titan Web. A wonderful Titan Web has uh, three contacts underneath it. And let's see the details. And this is the email in the account. All right. Let's head over to my, let's just refresh to make sure it's the latest version. And Let's do test find and we'll put some mobile phone number and we'll put our account email and tell us more and let's save it. Wonderful. Let's head over to our Salesforce integration logs and see how we did. Okay, so in the integration log, what do we see? First of all, we have a lead create. Second of all, we have an account find. We found the account, we found this account, and then we have three updated account, one, three updated contacts, one, two, three. So let's check this out. This is really cool. So if I'll head over to, I'll go back to the related and I'll go to Titan Web, Web T and T Web and Titan Web, and I'll Take a look at the details for them. Here it is, the smart view was updated. So this was a combination of find and update. This is what you would usually do. You would find something to, to uh, run an action on it. And uh, this is like you've seen, it's insanely powerful and you can run, you can run multiple finds and you can chain as many uh, pushes you like uh, to get your uh, logic done. And this is how it's done.